Today I decided to show you how to make a coffin spray. This is something that usually gets put on the top of the coffin, not for happy times, but in memory of someone's life. Always a blessing as a florist to be asked to create something like this for someone special who has passed. So enjoy watching this and watching me create something. You can see I've been hard at work and I have created a wonderful shape with this fabulous acacia greenery. Time to switch greenery and change to something different. I've also managed to get some of this gorgeous greenery off one of the trees in my garden. I like the dark green of this leaf. I think it just adds another texture and another variation in color. Look at that. Her favorite color was pink. And these pieces that have got this lovely elongated kind of linear shape to them are ideal to place on the ends of the design to give it that elongated length so that you get that long tapered point on either side and a broad section in the middle. So you can use various points of the stem for this, getting quite a lot of foliage out of one piece. Exactly what I'm doing on the front side I'm doing again at the back just to give it equal sides and equal shape on both sides. You'll notice I've used a three block tray with three bricks of eco floral foam that's the more biodegradable floral foam available from Oasis. To continue, I'm gonna add one extra foliage into the design. It's an even darker green leaf, and similar to the one I just added. However, this one's got a nice depth to it and almost a, a little bit of a glossy sheen. See the shape has started to form beautifully. It's time to bring on the heroes of the design, which are the focal forms, the face flowers. Not to say that foliage isn't a hero. Have a look at these exquisite iceberg roses. Ta -da! So iceberg roses are very, very delicate. And it's the reason why I'm actually gonna place them in the design now, is because what I want to do is I want to make sure that the foliage cups around the flowers like this. You see that? So that the petals don't fall off because they are at that stage where they have starting, well, they are starting to kind of come to the end of their season. So I'm hoping that they will just hold until this day is over. And I'm sure that they will last because I have already treated the water that I have been letting them drink in with Flora Life express solution which is just phenomenal for the longevity of blooms and here we go i'm going to pop these all the way through the design making sure that i don't lose shape I'm super happy now with the amount of roses that I've got into the design. Now it's a case of just adding the rest of the magnificent blooms that I have for this design, including these exquisite camellias.
Next, hydrangeas. Look at these beauties, a mixture of green and pink. Can't wait to get them into this design. It'll just blend together the pink of the camellia and the white of the iceberg. On the list, I've got some light yellow buttery creamy dahlias, also picked from my garden and perfect colour to combine with this really beautiful colour spectrum. My favourite thing to use if you have leaves that are showing some discoloration or that have maybe got some dust or some nonsense on them is the wonderful solution from Flora Life called Leaf Shine. So all you do is you just give the leaf a little blast and it turns into a lovely shimmery green colour and they look brand new. These are going to be perfect little filler flowers, definitely. Now to find the right spot, right here, right here, we need to just elevate some of the height of the design right here next to this gorgeous camellia that's in position there, wonderful. Let's finish this beauty off by adding some of these remarkable arum lilies to the design. Now that the arum lilies are in, the dahlias are in, the beautiful hydrangeas are in, the camellias are in, the fillers and foliage are in position, the cluster roses are in, the last thing to do is to add a few placements of the delicate white chrysanthemum. Croissants will just add one more texture to the design and will be perfect to fill up some of the gaps that you can see in the front. When I've come to the end of the design. I've added absolutely everything I have had into it. I think it's the most magical mix of flowers. It truly is a garden bouquet. It's soft, it's sympathetic. Now all we need to do is make sure that it lasts. The last product I want to show you is this fantastic product called Finishing Touch from Flora Life. Basically what it does is it's a finishing spray to maintain the longevity of the flowers and ultimately provide it with food from the petals in and to just really help it to last all the way up until tomorrow when the service will be held. So you want to just open it up and spray it onto the flowers not too close, just a fine mist all the way through. I wish you could smell the fragrance that I could smell here. It's just exquisite. It's these iceberg roses that are releasing this fantastic scent. A true blessing for all of those that will be there tomorrow. So for me, there's another one for you. My home videos, I think I'm getting better every time. Just me and me. I hope you're having fun watching them. Please keep following my channel and do share. And I'll see you soon.